When you come to Branson, one of the really highlights of my visit here is going to the old part of Branson. You you get this Mayberry kind of feel when you're downtown Branson, and there's one stop you want to make. That's the Farmhouse Restaurant. Uh, the, the folks at the Farmhouse have been doing this for over 30 years, cooking up some of the most delicious breakfast foods. And uh, and I'm getting a signal saying, hey, wait a minute, no, 35 years, 30 plus years, it's go- it's going up 37 years. We're going to just keep adding because it keeps getting better and better. But you don't want to miss out the farmhouse restaurant when you come to Branson, especially downtown Branson. This is the historic area of, of Branson that you'd want to make sure you stop at as you make your way down toward the Branson Landing. Don't go all the way to the bottom of the hill before you stop at the farmhouse and enjoy a delicious meal, black. Barry Cobbler and all the goodies. Roger uh, Davis has stopped by. Roger, you've been doing this a long time. Since 1976. 76. Yeah. Now, did you grow up in the Branson area? No, I'm from Illinois originally. Now, what brought you down to this little part of the country? Branson. Branson? Yeah. I just well, need to relocate, and this is, this seemed to be the hot spot. Now, you weren't running from the law or anything, were you? No. Yeah. Not at the time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> had you run a restaurant type before? I had kind of a farmer's coffee shop you know i lived in a farm community yeah and i had a little coffee shop set up and so i kind of got a feel for it and always did like to piddle around the kitchen so of course being in branson being a, a really a family vacation destination you get people that come from literally from all over the world to come here and come in and experience the farmhouse i'm sure sure we do and a lot of them keep coming back yeah same ones yeah what is it about the farmhouse experience that you want your visitors to be able to take away with them well, the only thing is uh, we put out comment cards. We want to know what you think of the farmhouse. And we get those comment cards and we read them and we try to improve from them. And most of them, practically all of them, go on about how well the service is, how good the food is, and looking forward to coming back again. One of the things I really enjoy, Roger, about the farmhouse is the fact that you do serve breakfast, you know, morning, noon, and night. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's available anytime. Yeah. Because sometimes there you need uh, a staple of a breakfast at dinner time, you know? Oh, a lot of people eat breakfast at 9 o'clock at night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah. We, what do you like about breakfast yourself? I mean, breakfast to me is just a is just a great way to start your day, of course. But uh, do you, when, you, when you sit down for a breakfast, what are you looking for in a breakfast for yourself? Well, I love omelets. Omelets. Yeah. And, uh, and usually we serve... Uh, we call them dollar pancakes. They're more of a four or five inch pancake, but we serve those along if you want, uh, rather than hash browns. And a nice biscuit. I'll tell you what, the biscuits and gravy at the farmhouse yes. are, <laughs> there's something else, let me tell you. Yeah. They're some of the best. And I'm, I'm a connoisseur of, of uh, gravy and biscuits. Everywhere I go, I yeah. want to try them. And I put you in the, there in the top. You well, guys are great. We move a lot of it. And your biscuits aren't frozen either, are they? No. They're all made from scratch. Let's talk about, since we're talking about Christmas right now, Roger, talk about the holidays and and what Christmas is like here in Branson for you and your family. Well, I don't know. Joey could probably give you more insight on that than I can. Uh, It's a busy time for us as well as summertime, but we just like the Christmas, you know, the Christmas spirit, I guess you call it. We... uh, um, we decorate, the town decorates, the whole area decorates with lights and trees. And, of course, we have the pageant, or the, not the pageant, what do you call that? Uh, nativity scene. Nativity, nativity scene. scene. Well, Miss Joy, is Rogers talking about this uh, holiday time? Talk about doing uh, Christmas at the Davis home. What's it like for your family? Christmas has always been a, a fun time for our family to get together, all the kids and the grandkids, and um, just to... Uh, enjoy each other and we don't we really keep it simple a simple christmas and may just have ham and beans yeah. <laughs> but um again it's just a fun time to enjoy with our family and uh i used to decorate majorly yeah uh, just like downtown branson does or all of branson for christmas time let somebody else do Lots the decorating lights. now and you can I'll enjoy let somebody some. else do the decorating that's right as i mentioned you guys have been doing this for a long time over 30 years, 37 years now, you've been opening, you know, serving delicious food at the farmhouse restaurant. Uh, what is it about the, what you j- enjoy in, with this business in relation to the customers that come in, 
the employees that you have working with you. Talk talk about the, this the whole experience here. What is it? What is it that you enjoy most about the farmhouse? Actually, it's the customers. I love uh, that we are able and and we do do our very best to uh, have ca- customers that when they leave tell us how much they enjoyed it. They wish they'd either found our restaurant sooner or the fact that they've been coming back year after year uh, every time they come to Branson to the farmhouse. And that that's really what makes it uh, worthwhile. Finding some of those, um, those foods like my grandmother used to cook, you know, that's what you're going to taste when you come into the farmhouse, whether it be that delicious breakfast we talked about or a lunch, you know, a patty melt. I mean, you know, talk about the menu for a second. Uh, you know, we do have just down home cooking and uh, good old fried chicken. We're known for our fried chicken. A lot of local people recommend that they come to the farmhouse for our chicken and uh, country fried steak uh, of Blackberry cobbler. Don't forget the blackberry Well, cobbler. blackberry cobbler, certainly dessert. You have your dessert first. But pe- we are known for our blackberry cobbler. Uh, people come in the door and say, uh, you do have some of that blackberry cobbler left, don't you? And we send a lot of those. They take them on their way home. They're taking blackberry cobbler with them. So um, <clears throat> everything from sandwiches. And we have a great salad and soup bar, homemade soups on our salad bar. So, uh, you know, people enjoy that. There's not too many places you can get a good fresh salad bar now or homemade soup. Well, you want to make sure you stop by the Farmhouse Restaurant when you come to Branson. It's in that historic downtown district, as I mentioned, as you make your way down toward the Branson Landing. Don't go to the bottom of the hill. No, no, no. You stop and park your car right there and walk right into the Farmhouse Restaurant, whether it be for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And if you want more information, you can go to their website, which is farmhouserestaurantbranson.com. Write it down, farmhouserestaurantbranson.com. They're located at 119 West Main Street here in Branson, and uh, I just want to thank both of you guys for stopping by. Thank you so much for having us. us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. (laughs) 